In this video is from Device Doctor. If your Epson L386 is blinking two lights and stopped printing, it means the internal memory is full. Stay with us, we'll show you exactly how to fix it step by step. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions, or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. When you turn on the printer and it doesn't work, with both red lights blinking and the print head not moving at all, it means the printer's memory is full and needs to be cleared. Use a USB cable to connect your Epson printer directly to your computer. Make sure the connection is secure before moving to the next step. You can download the printer memory reset file from the video description below. After downloading, make sure to extract the file on your computer. Now open the folder you just extracted. Inside, you'll find all the files needed to reset your printer. Next, run the file named adgeprogesk from inside the extracted folder. On this window, all you need to do is click OK and the program will open. Now the main reset program has opened. Click on Select and choose your printer model from the settings. As you can see, this reset tool supports three Epson printer models, L382, L386, and L486. Important note, disable your antivirus. Before opening the file, ensure that your antivirus software is turned off. Antivirus may delete the file. If your antivirus is active, it may automatically detect the file as a virus and delete it. Set the destination to either CIS or Euro. It doesn't matter. I will choose Euro for this tutorial. Also, carefully select the correct printer port before proceeding. Now, you need to open the option called Particular Adjustment Mode. From this menu, find and open the option called Waste Ink Pad Counter. Now, Check the boxes for Main Pad Counter and Platen Pad Counter. Then click on the Check button. This will show you whether your printer's memory is actually full or not. Our printer is working perfectly fine. Only 56% of its memory is used, so there's no actual issue. We're just using it as a test example for you, dear viewers. Now tick both Main Pad Counter and Platen Pad Counter again. Then click on the Initialize button and press OK to reset the printer. Your printer is now fully reset. All you need to do is turn it off and then turn it back on. This video is from Device Doctor, your guide to smart printer solutions. If this helped you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot and helps us make more useful content for you. Let's fix it together, one printer at a time.